this is Jake of the Forge Hub video crew and today I have something awesome for you. Today Halo 5's Forge has been released. Let it shine with its glory. Um, and it has released a bunch of awesome scripting things. So today I'm going to give a basic guide on how to script. Um, keep in mind here are some warnings with Forge because there are some bugs. Uh, firstly, saving your map will not actually save it. It's have a tons of people are having issues with that if you want to save your map save as that way you can actually keep your changes to your map and these little buggers right here these interactive switches uh, they have a huge bug where they will teleport to their spawning location if you spawn it in and then at one spot and then move it uh, wherever it moves it teleports back uh, after any update happens to it. So to avoid that, go into its object properties and lock it. That way you can avoid that whole situation entirely. Alright, so here is how scripting works. If you want to script, give a script to an object, the first thing you need to do is go to that object, press X on it, go to its object properties, and then scroll down to the bottom of its, its list. In the scripting category, you'll be able to add a script. When you add a script, you'll have script one. And basically in scripting, um, in Halo 5, it operates on a logic system of if and then. So if a condition is met, then an action occurs. So if, in the case of the conditions that can be met, there are quite a bit. I don't know, we'll list them off here. So on an object spawn, you can set the conditions so that it will do something. So whatever, it, whenever it spawns, it will do whatever action you choose. Uh, on destroyed, when it's destroyed, it does something. Uh, when a message is received from an outside source, like which could be another object or a switch. The on power state, which is you can choose whether on, in its on state or off state whether it does something or not on timers so you can set the condition based off of a timer you can set it on a condition on the matches start on a specific round start well not probably not a specific round but any the rounds start and then you can also set it up as an and gate which will allow you to have multiple powers and conditions in the same script so in the case of this script for this TV monitor, we want it to accept a message in order for it to change color. So we want to set the condition here to on message received and the channel is alpha. And then we, we're gonna make it change red. And then for this object, we want the scripting to allow it to move. So on message received, that same condition and then we say move and then we choose whatever coordinates we want it to move in this case it's going to move five units forward in whatever amount of time and then this object up here we are just going to make it i believe we're going to make it despawn yes uh, so here we have now we have three objects with different actions all with the same condition in order to be activated so here with our switch, uh, first thing we're going to do is unlock it. It's going to lock it afterwards, but we want to make it send a message since obviously those are all waiting to receive a message for them to be activated. Otherwise, they'll just sit there and won't do anything. So our condition is on interaction because it's a switch. Then our action is to send a message and our channel is alpha. So here it is going to send a message on alpha for all things in alpha to do their action. So if we go up here and press B, that one despawned, this one moved, and that one changed color. So now in Halo 5, we have been given a new object. This object in scripting is known as the script brain. In the script brain, it allows you to basically set it's like an empty object where you can set scripts into, like any scripts you want, in order to kind of pass scripts through it, and while so forth, well, so forth. So now, uh, what's great about it is it doesn't show up in game. So it's just an invisible object that allows you to send scripts through it. 
So in our case of this example of how this can be effective and why aren't we just sending it through objects, we have an interactive switch here. Let me just quickly put this one back on lock before I forget. And then over here, this one needs to be unlocked. And we go down over here to its scripting and it's on interaction and it's sending a, a message to the channel of Bravo. So when this activates, it will tell everything on Bravo to do its action. So our object over here is also on Bravo and what we want it to do is to move up. So it's just on message receive, channel is Bravo and our action is to move and it's gonna move up like five units. Now, the magic of our scripting brain here is it's going to allow us to pass that a script through it so that the new object to the right will be unaffected by the switch after the first action. So a condition here on message received, bravo, because it's taking it from that switch, and then it's going to send another message to Charlie. So now it's sending a different channel. So now the script brain is telling Charlie to do something. Now any all the objects on Charlie to do their action. So here we have another object that does the exact same thing as the left, but now it's on Charlie. And then, but it also now we can give script this one uh, a second script so that it's it can be used in a different way afterwards. So here we have on message received delta and move offset, and it's just gonna move to where we want it to. So here's how it looks. We go over to this object right here and we press B. Now both of these objects have moved. Now if I press this one over here, only one of them moves. So that allows a uh, scripting brains allows us to pass values through without messing with the previous kind of channel. So that is what I have for you today. Um, this has been Jake of the Forge of Video Crew, and I will see you guys next time. Laters.